Um, so are you strapped yet? Are you gonna when you go back? Are you gonna fucking pick up a Glock? I'm pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I said, dude, it's going that way. I where... said for years I was just anti-gun, anti-gun, and to some degree I still am. But yeah, once pandemic hit, me and my Australian mate like just had a discussion. We're like, oh, we have to get a gun, uh -huh. and it was the first time I went. I think you're right. Yeah. And then we had this stupid conversation. Where, well, I don't want it in the house, so we'll bury it in the yard. <laughs> <and> then... <laughs> so yeah, we're so... not ready to have a yeah, gun. Yeah, guns have gone the way of like old porno magazines where you just find <laughs> them buried them in the woods. At the playground. <laughs> yeah. Someone breaks in, you go, I'll get the shovel. You just yeah, yeah. dig in furiously. You wait there. Yeah, right 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 I'm going to start and then digging. You just hit him with the shovel because you've already got it in your hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. And the because I, I, I used to shoot a lot of guns out in the farm and stuff. Uh, you know, at people. Uh, at people? Yeah, at poor people. <laughs> poor yeah, people? Yeah, get them running. Walking through your property. Get them running, just line them <laughs> oh, up. Oh, the, the uh, most never, dangerous game. Yeah, yeah, never killed anybody. <laughs> but just, you know, you just give them a couple of pot shots. Where's yeah. your know. farm? It's you a, don't want to put them out CBD of work. CBD. They're going to work for you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, no, no. no, no um, but yeah, we used to, I used to fire a lot of guns, and yeah, my, my dad had a couple of beautiful shotguns, and uh, they're just orgasmic the way they lock they all lock in in the way that all the, the components, you feel it so once you, you've done you're a shot. So you bullets. It it's, is. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is essential it, thing. The way it all locks in is like, oh, man, this is so good. Oh, dude, once you fire a gun, you're like, all right, these are the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's way more of a thing than you think. Uh -huh. You think, oh, you're just shooting gun. I went to a, a range uh, a few weeks ago yeah. with uh, some friends in Phoenix, and they had these handguns. Mm. And you just you clock, and it, it does, it feels solid yeah. and it's heavy. Yeah. And then you shoot it and it's boom, and you're like, whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you feel powerful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that first dude. kickback, and then like you adjust and you, you're expecting it, and then you see someone else who like gets yeah. that, and they're like, fucking amateur. Look yeah. At this. <laughs> My dad um, said that he his friend had an elephant gun when they were like, when he was like, I don't know. Had he was a cattle man up in Western Australia, yeah. And he's like, his his mate goes, you know how to shoot that thing? He's like, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Held it up to his eye and just went bang and it just cut all around his eye. What's an elephant it, gun? Isn't it a giant shotgun? What yeah, it's an like elephant? A giant, it's like one of those big rifles. Yeah, yeah, and it went back oh. and just cut all around his eye. And he's like, I thought you told me you knew how to use it. Like, <laughs> what a what a like. What a shit practical joke to play on somebody. <laughs> it's just like, you're meant to rest your eye on the yeah. scope. And yeah. dad's like, they were all rough farmers back then, you know? Like, yeah. I'll play a joke on this guy. I'll yeah. nearly we'll make him this, lose his eye. This pans yeah. out. <laughs> Give him a, a, a small concussion. Yeah. <laughs> Elephant gun must be the only gun named after a specific animal you used to kill. With. Yeah, yeah. You don't right. have a flamingo gun. No, no raccoon. Bird gun. <laughs> Guns or no, uh, no, fox gun. Fox gun. Uh, yeah, hippo gun. Yeah, yeah. Sixth grader gun. I'd love to see a hippo gun. I think <laughs> yeah. it would just be a bazooka, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. One gun's not taking an elephant down, though. Uh, right? Is that the point of the elephant gun? I don't know. I, I, mean, I think if you shot it behind the ear, maybe. Oh, you got to get close. Because like, that, you, even if you shoot a cow specific. in the skull, it'll bounce off. Yeah. Yeah. I thought really? see an elephant knife. That's got to be pretty sweet, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Elephant>. <laughs> Wait, would you just jump on the back of the elephant? Oh, yeah, just... man. <laughs> <laughs> that's my Sri Lankan side coming up. Yeah, yeah, that's good, man. That's how they get to school over there. You can ride that baby. Yeah. yeah far out. <laughs> uh, man, Monty, thanks so much for uh, coming in and doing the pod. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, I know you're only in town briefly. Might as well get a plug in early. You got the big tour coming up. I do. Big it Australian insane, tour. Dude. I know. It's, it's it's obscene. I've gone yeah. too far. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah. You've um, overextended yourself? Of course. Why not? Yeah. Let's yeah. take this thing too far. <laughs> but man, bef before we plug your big tour, I've got to ask you about something. I've always wanted to meet you for one reason, and it's because you made a TV show years ago, like a pilot, called yeah. The Manny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Can you explain to people what the Manny was, like a pilot show? Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Remember the Nanny? Yeah. yeah. Just a man version of that. Nice. <laughs> so good. <dude>. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I used to watch it all the time. The I nanny used to was... show it to all my friends. I thought it was like the craziest thing. The Nanny was the one. Remember how good uh, sitcoms were in yeah. the 90s? And yeah, yeah. We, in Australia, we were obsessed with them. I didn't realize yeah. how much like uh, uh, Home Improvement was on every day. Friends. Roseanne was on. Yeah. Well, Friends was big, but that was a prime. Time one, right? Yeah. These ones were a bit uh, earlier. Like the, those sitcoms were on before 
uh, the friends and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. Roseanne was on every night, and and yeah. uh, and then so I had this, and obviously love Seinfeld and stuff like that. Yeah. So I wanted to make a, a sitcom. I just love them so much, and uh, so I, I I raised all this money on um on Kickstarter. It's I think insane. I ra- raised so fifty good. grand yeah, yeah. Uh, from everyone. Tons of people put money in and stuff, and we filmed this thing. And I had Rob Schneider in it, and uh, oh. and we, you know, we filmed yeah. this, and it, so it was cool. great. And uh, I was really proud of it. But I think I missed the window of sitcoms right. by about twelve months. It's it's like, ah, uh, yeah, it just ended because you think about it now. There's no sitcoms, yeah. and the ones that are around are terrible. I couldn't even name yeah. a sitcom from the past five years. Yeah, no. it's just I think they ran their course. It's yeah. almost like I went into radio just as TV started. And and you know, yeah. but uh, I mean, it's uh, I what happened? What happened with that um, TV show? Actually, it, it progressed to a um, a movie that I'm making now, and I can tell you more about um, what I'm doing with that. Oh, man, oh, yeah. the movie? No, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> did man, you ever, so cool? Did you, did you ever I, see the show uh, This Is Us or The Life of Us? What is it? Uh, uh, no, the real like called. melodramatic one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know yeah, of it. Yeah. It's uh, the the Life of Us or something like that. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember it now. But they had a, a storyline in that that one of their characters was a um, the lead in this sitcom called The Manny. It was ah. a subsection of the TV show. It was almost like they were mocking it, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> which is something I was trying to make for real. Wait, an act, but a real reference to the show you... Not that me. They just had one in they their show. They just had it. Okay, right, And right, the right, show right. that this guy was on mythically in this uh, you know, made-up um, uh, TV Universe. show, This Is Us, or yeah. whatever. It is This Is Us. Um, yeah, he was in a show called The Manny. Which was very funny because everyone sent it to me and said they stole your idea, and yeah, I go, right. it wasn't that great of an yeah. idea. <laughs> so I didn't come up with it. I just changed one letter, yeah, all and t- it was the one next to the to the yeah. original letter. It was you know the easiest I mean? one to change. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. an extra. Well, if you want to get it sold now, just call it the tranny. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah oh well, that would. Yeah. <laughs> But you're right, actually. We should have just <laughs> added an, another letter. I don't think you could say tranny anymore. Yeah. Who cares? You just said it, man. <laughs> yeah, you got to do it. you well, got to double down on this you know, now. you got to double down on I'll it. I'll double down on Tranny's it. Tranny's fine. Is it's tranny it's fine? cute. Yeah. I, no, I don't think so. But it... Uh, <laughs> But it is. I think it's they cute. Should, yeah, it should come back. Yeah. I think you know it is cute. It's yeah, fun. Yeah, some um, stuff's coming back. When I take transport, I go. I'm taking the tranny. I'm taking the tranny in. Yeah, people. <laughs> use piggybacking by a, a nice transvestite. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> a nice Sheila with an Adam's apple. <laughs> Do you like that? Sheila, I use that. Sheila, that's good. I don't yeah, think yeah, I've well, ever man. said that. No, before. I don't think you've ever said that. That was good, and you said it like not in a forced way. Like no, it was part of your language now. vernacular. Look yeah, at that, man! Dude. That's awesome, dude. Hell yeah, dude! I'm You're acclimated. assimilating <laughs> to a word so that's 50, 60 years past its due date. <laughs> but man, I, because I, I, yeah, I was so excited for you to come on because I, you made this mm. fifty grand. Yep. When it was hard to make stuff, like it, now a lot of a lot of people have cameras and stuff. Yeah. Whereas you actually got this made with Rob Schneider. Which is incredible. Yeah. I, How did you meet Rob Schneider? I was working at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood, stand-up um, yeah. comedy joint, and uh, he was there. And at these places, uh, uh, you bump into people like this all the time. It's, yeah. it's so much fun. But uh, you rarely have anything to say to them. But he was about to tour Australia. Yeah. So he saw me on stage and then was asking me all these questions, local references and stuff like that. And then he said, oh, I can, uh, I'll give you my number and you can uh, you know, keep telling me stuff before I go on tour. And then uh, that night I, I got out of the shower and I was still naked in my bedroom and the phone rang. It's Rob Schneider. Right. And I'm like, hello? And I'm standing there naked on the phone. He goes, oh, why don't you just come and do the whole tour with me? This was about 11 years ago. Wow. And, um, so what, you looked at your own dick at so, hard? Uh, yeah. And I went... <laughs> Hold on, the answer is yes. <laughs> and um, so he nodded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Rob Schneider actually called you and said you can do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can do yeah. it. Rob. As I was naked, and that gave me the encouragement to yeah. realize I could do it. Oh man, that's so awesome. I came and did that tour with him. We did the Sydney Opera House and yep. stuff. And oh, um, sick. so that was. And I've been friends with Rob since. Uh, you know, he's been one of my great friends and mentor and father figure. He's right, a, he's a yeah. legend. So uh, oh. when I wrote that, um, the Manny, uh, yeah. he was the first person I said, you know, we'll, and he, of course, jumped in and did like a, um, a cameo in there and stuff like that. 
Great. So awesome. Dude. I actually, weirdly enough, was watching Deuce Bigelow European Gigolo the oh, other yeah. day. It was just on TV. And I was like, man, none of those jokes would get across now in any way. Oh, like, that, he throws that. a midget out the window and it lands in like the canals of Amsterdam <laughs> and it makes like a bloop sound. Oh, you know, like man. the little a splash. Little splash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's actually a really good bit. Yeah, it's not, yeah, bad. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Right. That's so awesome. Yeah, because like just, I don't know. Yeah, now you can make stuff quite cheaply and stuff. And it's kind of crazy because uh, Louis CK, yeah, he made a show he had the pilot before Louie. Right. He said he made like a sitcom takeoff. Lucky Louie? Lucky Louie. Yeah, yeah. Lucky Louie. And he right. had all the sets like jiggle and stuff yeah, to kind yeah. of make it corny. Yeah. But he said people didn't get it. Like the the net, like the viewers didn't get it. They I didn't get it. That, that was like a send up. Yeah, right, right. Well, it's all, also for almost a nostalgia. People wouldn't realize they have at that point. Do you know yes, what I mean? Exactly. Like yeah, you're doing yeah. callbacks to something that people might not be nostalgic for yet, right? Yeah. Do you reckon that was what the Larry Sanders show was? Was that a send up of late night shows, or it was yeah. just behind the scenes version? Yeah. Of Larry what Sanders it was? absolutely trailblazing show in it's, terms yeah, of the mockumentary kind of style. Yeah, and that like was behind great. the scenes, and it, it holds up to this day yeah. yeah it's so good yeah and hearing bob I, I just read bob odenkirk's book and hear him talk about larry sanders and uh judd adaptow has also said this like the guy was just a genius he was just too yeah too uh close to the work i met him i yeah. met him once yeah. Yeah. shandling oh yeah. did oh, really yeah at the homosa comedy and magic club right he was very very nice very uh humble uh lovely person i only met him briefly and we did a show together yeah but um did you crush him? Did you bury him? Absolutely. Yes. I don't. I literally <laughs> oh, yeah. buried him. Did you him. go fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was his last ever appearance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, fuck but you, uh, uh, yeah, according to all other sources, he yeah. was the he was the guy. He was very, very, very good at yeah. what he did. Yeah, dude. Yeah, if you haven't watched the the Larry Sanders show, it's it's incredible. Mm. It's, that that had a big good. run here too. Yeah, yeah. we loved Did all it? those shows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Larry Shit. Sanders was on a lot. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but it was more of a late night one, wasn't it? That, it Channel was a bit nine. later. Yeah, more of a Channel Nine thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Channel they, Nine were a bit ahead of the game in sometimes. Yeah, they, they ran a be, few of those yeah, ones. Yeah, 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 they yeah. still are, man. They have the uh, the hundred with Andy they got Lee. The it's with it's Andy cutting Lee. edge. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be cool, man, because Andy <laughs> Lee's such a nice dude. Yeah, and you know you're you're a prickly asshole, but uh, <laughs> sure, it's so funny. Yeah, well, well, behind the scenes, if it was opposite ways, if you were just sucking up to him all the time, it's like. <laughs> Mike, get my fucking coffee. And you're like, yes. Oh, you know right, what I mean? It was right, like right. a different different role. That's the dynamic. Yeah, that's the dynamic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That'd actually. be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. And then what? Because you were in, uh, you were doing stand up there for ages in, in, in the US. Yeah, yeah. I've been there for about 12 years. So I've toured around. I've been to 43 states. And um, what's I've, the worst? What's the best? Oh, uh, the best state. Ooh, that's hard. Yeah. I really like Denver, which isn't a state. I was but, born uh, in Denver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, the comedy works. Colorado. Oh, that's the best club in the world. Yeah, so great. I was there th- about a month ago. Um, but I love being near the beach, so I'll stick with California. There's a reason why taxes are high and, and petrol or gas, as you might call it, is uh, out through the roof. It's because yeah. it's got everything. Yeah. yeah. California has the mountains, the beach. The, like it's perfect. The yeah. weather's perfect. Every everything about uh, with San Diego where I was living is fantastic. You forget that because I was recently back in San Diego and one of my buddies was like, "Oh yeah, we're we're gonna go snowboarding next yeah. weekend." And I'm like, "What?" Yeah, it's just like it's so it's you just can, drivable. You can snowboard in the morning and surf in the afternoon. Yeah, and then you go out and have a drink on the beach. Like California's got it all. Yeah, yeah. and then um, I love going to New York and and that and experiencing the big city and stuff like that. I've been to Kansas. Uh, not much there eh, to talk about. Nah, but, well, uh, <laughs> I heard Mike Goldstein's from there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all right. Uh, I don't know where the worst is. Um, I mean, we were br- briefly before we started recording. San Francisco came up, and it, it's it's um, not the worst, but it has the fact that it used to be so great, and it's pretty bad now makes it fucking grim the problem is is you can still see the greatness that was there yeah but it's shrouded in Shit. absolute decay yeah, yeah like yeah, right. i got chased by homeless people there right. was actual 
just shit on the streets and yeah. and you're just like, what happened here? Yeah, yeah right. And you, it's like that movie leaving um, L.A. or leaving New York and you're like, this used to be a beautiful place. Oh, Escape from uh, New York. Escape yeah. from New York, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're Snake Plissken in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. oh, man. We went to a winery the other day. It's so funny you guys bring this up. And it was just the nicest guy, but he looked like the president from Escape from New York. <laughs> and he was the coolest guy. He gave me like a little vine and he's like, plant this at home. You can have your own grapes and stuff. Yeah. Oh, really? He's having a big joke. His name was Mark. The, the, the nicest dude. Anyway, at the end, I was like, got it up on my phone. I was like, dude, you look like the president from Escape from New York. And he just kind of, everybody laughed. And then he was like, uh, this, you know, just did not take it very well. Oh, <laughs> had he not had it before? Yeah, yeah, no, he had not had really? it before. Yeah. I think it's it's quite an obscure reference to, you it know is. what I mean? the best. And I connected the dots because I've got that kind of brain. Yeah, like, oh, I'll yeah. forget people's names, but I'm like, whoa, look at this. Yeah. I, I did that <laughs> recently to a guy who looked like the dad from uh, Teen Wolf. Do you remember yeah. what that guy oh, looked yeah. like? Yeah. yeah. He just looked exactly like him. I go, dude, you're the dad from Teen Wolf. He's like, what? Like, <laughs> brought the picture up such an obscure reference. Fuck But he's hell. like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> dude, that's so funny. My partner did that too. We were at the shops and there was a, a, a girl behind the counter. And my partner goes, oh, you look just like the, uh, the girl from The Last of Us. Mm. And there's the Last of Us. Is that the? Or this is us. Is the one you were talking about yeah. before? Last of Us is the mushroom, fucking zombie uh, show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the young girl in that is pretty weird looking, right? Yeah. And looks like you? No, looks like this girl oh. behind the counter. <laughs> 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 looks like me. I'll take. Yeah, That's yeah. cool. Yeah. But like, uh, and the girl's like, oh, I don't know who that is. And my partner looked up this girl and showed her a photo. And the 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 shock and hurt. <laughs> And this cashier girl's face, seeing who she was being compared to. <laughs> Wish she wasn't happy. No, she it? wasn't happy at all. And oh, it really? was so uncomfortable. Oh, dude. That is hard as a kid, though, because yeah. you don't know what you look like or how the world no. perceives yeah, you and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I remember when I realized what I look like because I got one of those caricatures drawn of me oh, yeah. when I was about eight. Yeah. And I looked and I realized <laughs> what I looked like <laughs> and I cried. I was eight years old. I'm like, ah, that's that man. <laughs> hope, your, hope your partner didn't show. What if she accidentally showed a photo of? one of the mutants oh yeah They're like the last yeah. of us yeah. one of the zombies mushroom zombies like an eye Skipped up here it over. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's what you, you look, look like you look yeah. just like this and then you're just smiling and leave and leave her with that <laughs> anyway thanks for the coffee too latte yeah, yeah. Yeah. she's <laughs> scarred for life yeah. just like she Monty seeing the caricature just she'll be like show me a mutant with fucking mushrooms growing out his eyeballs oh, she's in the mirror later on just like staring at herself going is that how the world sees me <laughs> I had two mates who were really funny and uh, they met my dad about 20 years ago and he, his hair spiked up a bit. It yeah. was grey, but it spiked up. Yeah. And they said, you look like Noodles, the guitarist from Offspring. Nice. <laughs> That's fucking and good. put glasses on because Noodles was like, whoa, it's Noodles. <laughs> Call my dad Noodles. Did your dad get called Noodles after yeah, that? We, That's uh, how we, Australian we, we nicknames. We tried to keep it going for a bit, but no one else got it besides me and those yeah. two. Did, uh, he have yeah. to, did you have to show your old man a picture of Noodles? Yeah, we showed him a picture of Noodles. <laughs> did, he, so, did he accept it? Go, yeah, yeah, right. He's like, you know, he's just an old farmer type. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Never like, whoa, that's cool. Uh, yeah. so my old man right. got the, uh, he looked like the principal from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that guy's Rooney? in Rooney? Yeah, yeah, Principal yeah. Rooney. Yeah, he oh, was man. in... Um... Yeah. He was in Beetlejuice and that. Yeah, yeah Devil's yeah. Advocate. Yeah. And yeah. then he got done for uh, child porn. So, oh, you know, really? And I'm, uh, uh, I'm not talking about the actor. I'm still <laughs> talking about my dad. <laughs> <laughs> i got to find those old photos of you. <laughs> Son, turn around. That's yeah. good. That's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Turn yeah. around. It's <laughs> a good why angle. Do you, why do you keep taking photos of the back of my head? <laughs> We got school. We're doing school photos yeah, at home I'm this just, year with no uniform. <laughs> just making sure your hair cut straight at the back. <laughs> some of the uniform. Some of the uniform. Just get in your swimming outfit <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, lose the swimmers. Lose the swimmers. <laughs> Let's just try. Try it. <laughs> swimmers are annoying. They're getting in the way. <laughs> So thank you so much for being here and doing the pod. Um, but I'm guessing you actually have no idea what the premise of the podcast is because I, otherwise you probably I wouldn't. I read it for two seconds before, before coming in here, but yeah. it seems like you ruin people's lives on, on yeah, the phone. Yeah, we used to. I, we've been going for years now and we used to be, I don't know, much more brutal and stuff. And we've kind of stopped. 
with the uh, I mean, cause so to tell you the premise, and if there's any first time listeners, we swap phones. A spinning wheel decides whether we go through draft tweets, notes, camera roll, or search history. Draft tweets not really a thing anymore, so we'll either look at Instagram Explore page or Facebook Memories. Oh, and that's fun. yeah, so I, got I nothing, mean, I got nothing to hide. Oh yeah, really? You're not, an open book. No, not after the conversation we've just had. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if people got through the swimming carnival yeah. photos, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. They're still with us. Yeah. yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I don't, are you still tweeting? Are you still or did were you I ever? I never tweeted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't get into it. Yeah. That's good, man. I got Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. Oh shit. Ooh. Yeah, but you've blown up on there. Yeah, that's the reason that I'm doing this tour. Hell yeah. Uh, I sold out uh, like 10 shows in Europe. I'm doing wow. Berlin, Copenhagen, Zurich, and uh, London, and Amsterdam. Nice. I don't even know if they speak English. Yeah, I, I'll yeah. find out. Dude, European gigolo yourself. Yeah, I'm the, yeah, yeah, I am it. <laughs> yeah, wow. That, that, How was yeah. I, when I was doing a, a promo for that on Instagram, I was at Rob Schneider's house and I was talking about Europe and then he jumped in as European jiggle. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's so in the, awesome. in the thing. Oh, dude. Yeah, you, you've, you've already reached the pinnacle. Oh, yeah, I know. Like, it's Rob Schneider fun. just jumping in and being the jiggle. Oh, I mean, dude, I would lose my shit. Yeah. yeah. I think I would come. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that yeah, was yeah, the yeah, that yeah. was what I was hoping. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's so awesome. Yeah. Um, so was that mainly Instagram or TikTok or both? They just like I think it's like, Instagram. Yeah. TikTok's got a bit on there. I think I, I figured Instagram out a little bit better. Yeah. Um, I know how to put the videos on there so they get the right traction and stuff. Right. Yeah. You know when you hear about like Mr. Beast and he says, I figured out YouTube. I've got no idea how YouTube works, but no. he figured it out and yeah. I figured out Instagram a little bit. So yeah. I know yeah. what to do to get the videos into the algorithm or whatever they say. There's people like gaming the algorithm in other ways now. Like there's a there's a stand up in the States who just post videos of him bombing. Like bombing but almost intentionally bombing. Yeah. And I swear he's filming it before anyone's in the room. Yeah, right. Because the silent it can't be that silent. Really? I yeah. don't want to see who's doing it. And this. like, so he's funny. like doing pretty, like intentionally bad jokes and he just, he's eating shit so hard. And then now it's, the clips are going off because people are arguing about whether the jokes are good or not. Yeah. And whether he deserves to be eating shit that hard. I bet it goes off on TikTok more. TikTok is a yeah. nastier place. People want to see people's downfall on TikTok. Really? Yeah, definitely. You think trolls are worse on TikTok than Instagram? I think they want to see the videos yeah. where people are being taken down or mocked or uh, ridiculed really uh, more so on TikTok Instagram is a bit of an older audience so they're like all right let's just not ruin everyone's lives but yeah just some people yeah Facebook is a weird uh, who knows place what's going on over there I don't even know it's a retirement yeah. 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 Facebook it's is uh, the half of Coffs Harbour hate me at the moment because uh, <laughs> I put up a video about Coffs Harbour oh uh, yeah <laughs> and uh, yeah Facebook is just all old uh, doll bludges and stuff and uh, yeah I don't get notifications from Facebook so I just Opened it up like a week ago, and I was like, "Holy oh, shit!" Everyone hates like, me on Facebook. Never thousand comments from being like, "Fuck you, Coffs yeah. Harbour is a nice beach town. <laughs> it's a beautiful town. It's How a could you?" Beach town. And other We've people, got it all. Yeah. And there's other people coming to my aid. Like he was actually taking the piss out of himself. Yeah. When he says he only played to 15 people, not it's not Coffs Harbour's fault. Oh yeah. yeah. And they're like, "Fuck you." You're I love. A idiot. I love watching people just. I, I don't comment no. uh, on yeah, Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I was told a long time ago to post and ghost. You just put it on there and don't yeah. look again, and that's bullshit because I look at all the comments. Yeah. But I never uh, write back to anyone because it just fuels. But now people, it's like I've got a bunch of people that go, hey, this is what he meant, and I don't have to do it anymore. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, that's awesome, I got <laughs> Oh, yeah, if you get people coming to your aid, that's great. But, like, it's also the post and ghost thing, the – Best for your mental health, I think, you have as well. To. Otherwise, you just they've got you. You're fucking trapped in there. Every now and then they get me though. Oh, like do they? I, yeah, like you, you just have a day and you just look and then you go, Ugh. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You, it happened like last week. Yeah. I put up this post, right? And I, I've been doing these Australian words and explaining them to the rest of the world what they mean. Yeah. And I I said petty because when I was 18, 19, 20, me and my mates would call petrol petty. Uh -huh, we yeah. go, oh, we need petty for the car, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I, I just said, Oh, if you 
you ever hear petty, it just means petrol like that. And like yeah. a thousand people said, no one says that. You're a stupid asshole. Like <laughs> I'm like, all right, well, me and my yeah. mates did, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> fuck. He should have been like my favorite singer is uh, Tom Petrol. Yes, yeah. Tom yeah. Petrol. You guys know him. <laughs> Tom, Tom Petrol, Petrol and the Heartbreakers. And the half-gallon kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's it. If you people are arguing in the comments, that's what makes it fucking take off. That know? is in the shares. So Instagram um, rang me. Because my um, Johnny Instagram, cool. yeah, Mr. Yeah. Instagram, yeah. Oh, yeah, or Mrs. Instagram. I don't know. I don't want to <laughs> assume, but um, uh, they called me because my videos were getting more traction than some of the gamers that have twenty million followers. And I've got a lot of followers, but not yeah. that much, like three hundred fifty thousand or something. Yeah. But they were getting shared and viewed, and, and that way more than um, uh, these gamers and stuff. So they they called me and they offered me this concierge. Uh, to because they just want you to keep making content because yep. it's good for their platform and stuff. Yeah. So it was just interesting that whatever I was doing was striking the right chord. And well, I think that's what the key is with Instagram. you got to end the video with someone going, oh, I've got to send this to Mike. Oh, you know, I've yeah. got to send this to someone. And then it just starts getting shared yeah. around like yeah. crazy. Right. So just it needs to have that button, that punchline, that something at the end that yeah. you go, ha, I've got to send that to blah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I mean. now will you pivot into, I mean, I know petty was a thing between you and your mates, but like where you're just making up words just to get people to fucking maybe. go, that's bullshit. Maybe, <laughs> I'll, <laughs> maybe I'll stir the pot a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Australia, we call someone an oblong anus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how we all used to do that and then get everyone involved and they'll get so upset. <laughs> used to go down to the bloody old hotel you Look, it's old oblong anus. <laughs> yeah, cheers, oblong anus. Yeah, that yeah. so, was a yeah. funny thing. Oh, the, oblong anus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't funny say one. the creek. We say the diarrhea pit. Yeah. yeah. We all Remember how we all did that? <laughs> <laughs> Down at the old diarrhea pit. Anyway, next week we'll be talking. And then just lose all credibility for anything that I try and say in the future. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The old hydron collider. That's what I called my wife. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm gonna go home to the old hydron collider. I'm I'm happy to do that if I put like an alert in the middle saying this is a joke. Yeah, this yeah, is a yeah, joke because yeah, 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 yeah. people won't understand. Yeah. No, not at and all. And they'll actually yeah. attack me. <laughs> so of those things, so outside of draft tweets, then uh, camera roll, search history, uh, what am, our notes? Like if there's one you're more comfortable with us looking at, just have that be it. We'll spin the wheel for us. Oh, I don't care. If whatever. Uh, what do you think would yield the most results of something to Talk of about. fodder yeah fodder i guess the instagram um search or something oh around, the explore right? page on it you're brave yeah. man <laughs> most dudes will not offer that up yeah. no i think it's hilarious yeah I, yeah. I just I'm I'm still shocked at how specific it is to what an 18 year old boy should be yeah. trying to look at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which that, I am I am not yeah. an 18 year old boy, but yeah. for some reason they still think that I like those things, and they're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred percent. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, it's yeah. the id, right? It's, yeah, it just knows your core. Yeah. Completely. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. the other things aren't the notes are, are, are joke ideas, yeah. which don't make any sense. Yeah. yeah Have you ever yeah, had yeah. anyone look at your notes page of your stand up and mm. go, what does this mean? What is. Uh, what is that's uh, half the show? What is yeah, yeah. penis mongoose? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and you're like, oh, that's. <laughs> Capper will bring in his notebook sometimes, and it's like a serial killer manifesto. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have no idea what the fuck's yeah. going on. I brought a random girl home in my 20s when I'd started doing stand up, and my set list was next to the thing, and she read it and left. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And what? she goes, you're crazy. Yeah. And I said, oh, no. That's From a just, set list. Yeah. But it did say, you know, uh, murder, kill, penis, face, uh, like, you know, golf. Uh, She's like, I don't care if you're a comedian. No one should write the N-word 20 yeah. times. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're all different jokes of it. I just have to remind myself. You were doing the Michael Richards uh, laugh act. Yeah, I was set. doing his set. That's uh, someone... <laughs> I got his set list I mean, signed by Michael It's so Richard. funny, yeah, if, if you find his set list and it's legit just the N-word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the N bit. And then it's, it's just dot, out. dot, dot, dot. We'll see how this pans out. We'll <laughs> see how yours. this pans out. <laughs> <laughs> this shouldn't <laughs> last too long. Yeah, this will oh, be fine. Dude, this will so blow good. over. Yeah. <laughs> I've spoken to a bunch of people that were there, yeah. some of the comedians. Oh, really? Yeah, they just said it was just... Uh, it was exactly how you think it would be. Yeah. Just such a weird. Everyone was like, "What is happening?" Yeah. Picture a whole room of people just going nut and getting up and walking out. I know. Yeah. It's crazy. And it's, it feels like the first 
cancellation because it was before really i think it, most people had smartphones and stuff yeah, so it was, i think it was wasn't recorded it, was on, on youtube phone. at best yeah and uh it's like a grainy flip phone yeah. recording wow and that just went yeah and because he released a book recently yeah um and he's been doing the talk show circuit you know trying to plug it and yeah. when they ask him about it he still hasn't figured out a way to just say i fucked up he yeah. goes oh i was playing a character and he's still and, doing that yeah he should just say i didn't know what i was doing yeah i panicked and i was scared dude that's it because that's all there it, it is yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. i was like so funny because you know you go on those dark rabbit holes when you're in lockdown or whatever yeah and yeah. i went down that rabbit hole because i there was something came up on youtube it was like Howard Stern defends Michael Richards or something. They're like, you're in the moment. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah. You, it's a personal thing, stand up. And I'm like, I can I can assimilate with that. Yeah. Yeah, let's watch the footage again. And I'm like, Fwah. Yeah. I've never gone I've, I've never, to the moment. I've never gone to that place and gone, yeah, yeah. Oh no, that wasn't me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's part of like, you well, that, that that came out of because I was like, I I came into this on your side, brother. And uh I yeah. can't take it <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the things living in america and uh we never grew up saying the n-word here in australia it's just not a thing it's yeah. not part of our vocabulary yeah. so there's no part of me that would accidentally slip up and say that and no. go yeah. oh it's just sorry it just came to me or something yeah, yeah. some yeah. other word i shouldn't say would is growing up saying dumb stuff but yeah. not yeah. that no. no, 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 no. It's uh, what's the Aussie equivalent of the N word? Are we getting in fucking dicey? I know what here? it is, yeah. but I don't even want to go into yeah, where right, it is. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll move on. I'm yeah, not yeah let's move on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, we do the intro. Should we do the intro? Oh fuck! Yeah. I mean, because we've already done the premise. Yeah, we've already done the premise. I guess yeah. we could. Do yeah, we need to? Because we're gonna have the music come in and oh, stuff. Oh shit! Oh, this is like a yeah, Quentin yeah. Tarantino version of a podcast. We <laughs> yeah, do the yeah, premise yeah. last. And That's then... all preamble. <laughs> We've just done thirty-five minutes or whatever of preamble, yeah, 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 and yeah. then we'll do the intro, and then we got ten minutes left. But I was thinking, <laughs> Perfect. I was going to talk to our editor lady, and because we have the preamble at the start, yeah, maybe we should have like a little ding or something at, at the at the right at the top. Uh huh. Then we have the intro later on. Okay. Like a little like ding 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 ding. I don't just know. Just to know that you've been on the the podcast or whatever. What do you mean? Just to just to bring people in, so it doesn't sound like I don't know that we. Were I'll do the Michael Richards thing the at garage. the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. But she, we'll, I'll get her to put it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, okay, the intro. Ring a ding ding. You got the kings. Welcome to another episode of the Phone Hacks Podcast with me, Mike Goldstein, and the Apple Music to my Spotify, Nick Capper. Yes, Third. yes. Apple Music. That was good. Is it? Remember, remember you would uh, you would buy a track for a dollar. Oh, it used and, to be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it wouldn't work on anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes you'd accidentally buy the film clip, and then you'd be like, why did that cost fucking $14? And you're like, I accidentally bought that film clip rather than this song. Anyway. I, yeah, I remember. I tried to buy Eastbound and Down, like, an episode, oh, yeah. and I bought the whole season. <laughs> And uh, I think I still own it's still in my iTunes, which yes. is not a bad season. Like it's it's a great show, yeah. That's but fun. it's also like who fucking it's like owning a box set DVD. Now, yes, right. Yeah, I don't know. And speaking of Eastbound and Down, we're talking to the guy who was in the porno version, Eastbound and Down, yeah. Monty Franklin. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Dude. What was yeah. that like, man? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't know that I was going to be in that porno. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just, you were the jet ski, right? I was. <laughs> they rode me. They rode me. <laughs> <laughs> it was just uh, what's his name, Ron. Jeremy right. as as uh, as uh, the Kenny guy, Powers as Kenny Powers yeah. he's just riding you like a <laughs> oh is there actually a porno I mean it sounds <laughs> yeah, like there should yeah. be no yeah <laughs> this should be a porno it should be I would love to be <laughs> the he's Jets pounding game. down I mean, he's pounding down yeah. that's really good yeah. they they should have they would have made like a, a nanny porno wouldn't they. Uh, like yeah, the fanny or something. The fanny, the yeah, fanny. yeah, yeah. That's how I became uh, the fanny. Oh, Miss Miss Fine. Let me <laughs> Nanny <you>. Fine. <laughs> oh, fanny Mr. Nine. Sheffield in my ass. <laughs> in my ass, Mr. Sheffield. Fuck. Oh, Miss I'm Fine. from Queens. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was great. That was a good impression. Yeah, dude. yeah, it was good. I loved it. I loved the nanny. It was good. Yeah. It, was, it was the other one, Cece. I don't know. I Cece know. Babcock? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. She doesn't right. even what need to change her name. between Niles and the, like, and the, the big guy? What is his name? Mr. Sheffield. Mr. Sheffield. Mm. What's what, the difference? What was their voice in there? It was a difference in their voice because Mr. Sheffield One's was like, British, oh, Miss Fine. Oh, yeah, that's right. Is the butler that's, British? The butler was. Well, they yeah. were both British. Ah. Uh. But yeah, he was, know. he didn't, the butler like kind of just snarled and I, I don't think I can do a good impression of no. him trying to think in my yeah. head. Yeah. 
But it was like mm. posh. It, 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 mm. Sure, nanny. Sure, sure yeah. Miss Babcock. Miss Babcock. <laughs> Cece. Cece. Uh, yeah, yeah. They ended up hooking up in the end, remember? Oh, shit. What? Yeah. Cece and Niles. That's how it finished. Yeah, they, they like got married. Whoa, Cece and Niles doggy style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, if they had the, the Dum Dum Club they had the po- on the podcast, they, they got, one time they got a, a Niles to do a cameo. Really? Yeah, and they couldn't shut him up. He was just talking for ages. What? Yeah. So they paid for him to do like a a, ca- a cameo, right? Yeah, yeah, and he loved it. He was like talked for ages. You really? Couldn't believe it? Yeah, he was still. So in that the was mix. his first cameo that he got yeah, asked yeah, to do, yeah. and he's like, "Oh, <laughs> it's the first job I've had since the '90s." Yeah, they got him and the Soup Nazi. The Soup Nazi was pretty. He was quite rampant on it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. the Soup Nazi, I'm sure he gets tons of requests. I think yeah. all those like Seinfeld character actors, apparently the people who are on The Office. Like make a shit ton yeah, of money. Yeah, the Kevin. the number one dude on it. I, was, I looked Kevin. the other day because someone wanted me to go on there, so I was curious. And the it's Kevin, is it? Yeah, yeah. Kevin. And he makes like absolute bank. Yeah. Wow. Which is weird. I don't know if it, you'd think it would be someone obscure like that. But yeah. I People want Kevin to say happy birthday to their friends. That's like, what they're yeah, after. Yeah, yeah. I tried yeah. to look up uh, one of the people because my my wife loves uh, Below Deck, mm. and uh, oh, I tried yeah. to get one. Of them. It was like sixty bucks. I'm like. You know, you know, when you go to pay for it and you're like, oh, this is dumb. Yeah. <laughs> she's just going to go, oh, yeah, who cares? Yeah, yeah. Know, yeah. Like, she's not going to have, yeah. My brother, however, I got him, I got Max Cavalera from Sepultura. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Sing him happy birthday. Did he and, go for uh, it? Yeah, and, it was awesome. And the really? death metal voice? Yeah, yeah. He was like, happy birthday, Christian. <laughs> happy birthday, Christian. <laughs> How much was that one? Uh, yeah, I think that was only 30 bucks or something. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, I got it. It was like, because uh, there was this poker machine called the Cash Chameleon at our local pub. And he goes, uh, happy birthday, Christian. Uh, I hope you get to go to the Boomer pub and play the Cash Chameleon, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> We got, well, I got, uh, I don't know if either of you would know this actor, Lorenzo Lamas. Uh, yeah. He was renegade in like this 80s and 90s bounty hunter show, mm-hmm. right? I only know him because no. you told me about yeah, it. Yeah, so I, I found him on Cameo and then for my buddy's 40th birthday, I got him to say a happy birthday. But then he like got real, he was like, yeah, work's kind of dried up over the years and uh, <laughs> just doing this now. <laughs> and, and, on the Cameo, yeah. it's kind of sad and yeah. retrospective. <laughs> He's like, yeah, life's tough. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, He's like, well, so happy birthday, I guess. But, you know, I don't have many birthdays. Like someone like that left their camera on and you followed them around for like a few more hours in their house and they're just... (sighs) They're just doing nothing. (laughs) That's basically what it was. It was so depressing, but we loved it because it was so sad. My mate uh, mate Tom Seagat, he's a comedian. Oh, Um, we know Tom. We've had him on. on He had this... I don't know if he did it. I think he just told us. He might have done it. He had an idea for uh, recording one of his albums. So he was at the Comics Lounge recording and no one rocked up. So he's pressed record and it just starts with him doing his jokes. Oh, no one's here. And then he thinks he stops recording. But the rest of the comedy album is him just driving home. (laughs) He gets pulled over by the cops and yells at him and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. Great. And that's the yeah. comedy album. Like, uh, the man. hour after a set of no one coming. <laughs> it was so funny. I'm sure he did it or he just told us about it. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> All right, well, should we get into the phones? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah All right. Let's get into the phones. Monty, you can hold on to your phone for now because we'll spin the wheel each time to see what we're going through. So, Capper, you'll get my phone. Eventually, Monty, you'll get Capper's and then I'll spin the wheel for yours. <laughs> For a hat. So my phone first, Capper. So there's the wheel to see what we're going through. It's all pretty high tech stuff here, and that just ticked over to search history. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. There you go. There's the history. Um, uh, I think it's been a while since we've gone through it, so it should yield plenty of a uh, plenty of results. How of- old was Christopher Lloyd in Back to the Future? Yeah. Oh, uh, Fifty six. Way younger. Really? Yeah, he was like 47. What? Jeez. I know. Where to me, you know, as a kid, the, what, what an integral part yeah. of my yeah, childhood was be that movie. 108. Yeah. And he's still, I mean, he's still alive. And so I was like thinking about it and I was like, surely 56 or, or older. I would have yeah. thought older. I was yeah. being nice. Yeah. yeah. yeah but yeah, he's yeah. like five years older than I am now. Far out. That's so funny. <laughs> wow. Yeah, dude. That's it's so... fucking crazy to think about because he, like Morgan Freeman, you know, like these men who've always been old 
in our minds, you know? And then you look up how, like, I don't know how old Morgan Freeman was in Shawshank, but I'm sure it's probably around the same or probably mid fifties, but it's just insane to think that these dudes who were like archetypal old men were like mid forties. Yeah. Yeah. Morgan Freeman was 18 and just looked like that for the rest of his life. Like, yeah. yeah. He's yeah, just yeah. been the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. He hasn't really cracked. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's just stayed and his voice is the same. Yeah. Mm. And uh, 47. Yeah. Whoa. I know. I bet you there was someone in there that's that was older, like one of the female characters or something older than him. Yeah. Like, you know how you look up the, and I always look up the Golden Girls. You know how you do that. Oh, of course. Yeah. But um, yeah. the Sylvia, who was the oldest one, I think, was Spell actually Gaddy? younger than the, yeah, yeah, was younger than the um, Dorothy. That's really? right. Yeah, in the show, but she played her mum in it and all this sort of stuff. Yeah, like, and the, uh. what, the horny one on Golden yeah. Girls, Blanche? Blanche. Well, she, she was like... Mid forties? Yeah, I think she was forty, like That's six, insane. seven, or something, and she was meant to be this old, yeah, bag, yeah, rocking yeah. slut, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this kilf, <laughs> dude. Forty-seven. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah she can still be on the apps. <laughs> you, yeah, like I'm over forty now, and uh, I look at that stuff all the time. Like Ar- Arnold Schwarzenegger was forty-three when he did Terminator Two. Oh, I always look at that stuff because yeah. I'm like, oh, he, he's. I, could I still be a lead actor? Is probably what I think in my yeah, head. Yeah, could yeah, I still yeah, do yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. And then you look and you go, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. Brad Pitt in Fight Club was 36 or something. Know, yeah. <laughs> it's not true. You can't, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah, I do that with athletes sometimes. I'm like, well, Tom Brady's 44, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've still got a chance. Yeah. <laughs> could still make the team. Uh, yeah, so I you don't got, know why that. You got um, uh, Alien Romulus who went and saw it the other night. Yeah. Any good? It's great. Okay, great. It's got, I don't know. It does this thing, though, and this isn't even a spoiler, but it pays tribute to the old film sometimes in a way that is corny as fuck. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah, there's some lines from like the old... And it they just, didn't jam it in there well like Maverick did? No. Well, yeah, Maverick... Maverick did it unreal. They did it unreal. That That's was, the best movie I've seen in 20 years. Yeah. It's actually a better written movie than the first one. People get upset, but if you think about how movies are written, it's yeah. a better written movie. Yeah. It's unreal. Yeah. yeah. So Maverick did all the nostalgia and all the throwback references, yeah, seamlessly. Yeah. Yeah. But there's in this, like, there's one, you know, super famous line from the original Alien that they just shoehorn in, and it's like, oh, fuck. It, like, kind of fucks it. <laughs> like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, bit. that would be annoying. But everything else around it is great. Like, the movie rips. And I think it's because every Alien movie since Aliens has been dog shit that it's not hard. But yeah. still, it's awesome that we got a new good Alien movie and the last Predator movie was sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah great. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, I mean, great. people... Originality's have... coming back. Yeah. Well, Maybe. Not really. No, these are old. <laughs> these are old. <laughs> Revamping <laughs> yeah. original things. I, still, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean... I, it was like so funny that uh, when they take a step back, like you know, I watched a- uh, Aliens. What's the one uh, Covenant? Mm. Right, right. Where he and plays you, the flute. You love yeah, that he scene. plays the flute. I love that scene. <laughs> it's the dumbest scene ever. But there's also, if you can't get any dumber than two androids playing the flute together, yeah. It's this, there's this bit where the alien comes out of the chest, right? And it's so 3D animated. And right. It was only made like five years ago. Yeah. And it comes out of the chest and it's got Michael Fassbender there. And then the alien recognizes him straight away as like the leader. Nice. And it goes, Aah! and kind of nods. And you're just like, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> That's in Covenant? But yeah, yeah, in Covenant. It's just like, Aah! it's just like, Aah! Yeah. Its arms Hello, my baby. Just, Hello, my yeah. darling. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh, it's you. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. 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 You're always yeah. waiting for it to go, Father. <laughs> Father. You're here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the dumbest thing. Yeah. Dude, you got you got creatine gummies. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm on the uh, creatine gummies. Oh, for getting wedding shredded? Yeah, trying to fucking get pumped. For There's the creatine pumped gummies. For, yeah. Ooh. That's the new thing. So, Is it? Yeah. And it's uh, um, it's creatine that pre workout, right? Yeah, it's pre workout. It's um, they say five grams a day because I started following this account called Body by Mark where he just interviews like jacked people in the street, right? Oh, yeah. I've seen that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they're all like, yeah, five grams of creatine a day. And like, I don't know, the powder just it's fucking pretty infantile, but I'm eating gummies, creatine, to, yeah, uh, is pre workout stuff, which is basically uh, it's almost a form of 
amphetamine like speed yeah. to give you the energy to go and push more weights when you're in the gym you see that like the hydroxy cut and stuff and you look at the ingredients and it's just like a shit ton of caffeine and yeah. a lot of them so people are just all yeah jacked up but it's just caffeine you i know? remember having it. some once and i don't take creatine and stuff and yeah. i was buzzing all night like i'd really yeah taking drugs it was great oh shit <laughs> yeah but isn't there a difference between creatine and pre-workout is possibly creatine, i might I be thought creatine puts water in your muscles there's I that, might be uh, yeah. confusing the two. So. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I mean, there's workouts yeah. like, Whoa. Yeah. yeah, perhaps. <clears throat> so now you, I mean, I know you've done the Joe Rogan podcast, so now we're in the Joe yeah, Rogan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All here. in the, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's all part of it. Joe yeah. Slogan. This is the second the podcast I've done. <laughs> <laughs> I started with Rogan, and now I'm here. Yeah, it's a slippery slope. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, this is kind of a deep cut. I'll finish on this. Yeah. The Big Chill. Yeah. What a crazy movie. Oh, yeah, I haven't yeah. seen it yet. And then I'm doing a movie podcast with Peter Hellier on Friday, and he's he's given me the big chill to watch. Oh, have you oh, not right. seen I've it? I've never seen it. So oh, it's, it's like fantastic. A, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what great. I've heard. So this is like, yeah, glaring omission and I guess my Oh, I don't want to talk about it and ruin it for no, you. No, no, no. So i got to yeah. find where to watch it and watch it before Friday to talk about it with Hellier. I tell, you so, one, uh, I tell you one thing that's really cool is there's a huge cameo that you will never know. Yeah. The dead person at the start that they're all talking about. Yeah. I won't tell you who it is. Right. But now everyone who's listening is going to... Well, you can look it up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, when you find out, you go, no way. Oh, oh great. Cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I just got to... I've never seen it. It was like... He gave me a few options. There's like some old John Wayne movies I'd never seen. But for the most part, like he gives you a list... And then the premise of his pod is like watch a movie that's like a glaring omission in your, you know, cinematic viewing, right? Yeah, right. And a lot of them on there are like, if no one's seen The Thing, mm. they should not call themselves a movie fan. To me, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's a lot of like movies on there where I was just like, how the fuck have people yeah, but not you can, seen The Departed? Don't you think you can skip big ones? I hadn't seen Gladiator up really? until, yeah. And all my friends are like, what the hell, what's wrong with you? And I just, I just, it just slipped. Fuck. It's like when you you talk about bands and you go, I just missed out on yeah. uh, Tool. Yeah. I missed yeah, out yeah. on Tool, and everyone who knows Tool is obsessed. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I just forgot to get obsessed with it. Right. And I, you just, and then someone shows you, and you're like, I get it, I understand. Yeah. But I forgot to get in when I was at the right age and time and stuff. So I just think sometimes you can miss big blockbuster ones by mistake. Yeah. And uh, I don't think you should um, ridicule people for doing so, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> well, to take it back to Christopher Lloyd, Hellier said Nick Cody had never seen Back to the Future. Uh, yeah. and well, I, I can't like, talk to Cody anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Cody legit wears the fucking life vest. Oh, yeah, he, he does, does, too. He does wear the life vest. <laughs> and I'm like, every time I see him, I'm like, you Marty McFly dipshit or whatever. Yeah, and he's like, oh, and he doesn't know the reference. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know he's the like, reference. What? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> controversial, controversial topic here, guys. Not that big a fan of Gladiator. Oh. I think Joaquin Phoenix carries the whole thing. Wow. Yeah, I think like Russell Crowe, his acting is all right. I don't know if it's Academy Award. He, he had so many better roles. So many better roles. Like I what? think it's just like... LA uh, Confidential is great. Yeah, LA Confidential. The one, um, oh, what's the political thriller? Insider. Yeah, that's fucking awesome too. Yeah, that's still good. Mm, I think you're yeah. just being a little contrarian. Though. No, no, I'm not. I remember watching it going, what the hell is this? Like, this is just an ordinary movie. You sat in the theater I and you did I got it. Yeah, yeah, It's the same as yeah, Braveheart. Yeah. Sometimes as a dude, you want to pretend like you can save the world. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. like why we watch, you like watching prison break movies and stuff. You go, I could get out of prison. I could figure that yeah, out. Yeah, no, you yeah. couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to sit there and fantasize? Yeah, man. <laughs> With Keem Phoenix, I was like, Fuck this guy rules. Yeah, he's the best. Oh, yeah, he doesn't get any better than him. You hate him to the, in it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Don't yeah. you reckon Russell Crowe in the Nice Guys was unreal? That was such oh, a good oh, movie. Awesome, that man. movie ripped yeah. so Isn't hard. Great, yeah, so good. Such a good movie. Yeah, really yeah, funny. Yeah. Um, quick. All right, so Monty going through in Capper's phone. He, it, he actually it, saves the Thor, the latest Thor movie as well. He's pretty good in that. Uh, that is I don't know if I watched it. all right. Well, this is notes. So, Monty, you get a uh, an insight into the uh, mind of a chronic masturbator. <laughs> um, are, um, we, are we going through I don't my, know my notes? Are no, that no. <laughs> that uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. What the, have you gone through them recently? I, I haven't been writing much lately, but anyway, maybe we can just. Uh, 
added a few. <laughs> yeah, you can do search history okay. or yeah, we'll see if anything comes up in there. Just hop around. If it's more like points of reference that I could do funny stuff about. I don't know what would it be. In every country town, there's always a dog named Boof. Oh, yeah, we've talked about that one, I think. But yeah, there, there is always a, a dog named Boof. I got shit for saying uh, Boof when I read that. I've never Boof. S- yeah. Boof. Uh, boof. 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 Um, boof. Boof. Yeah. Um, boof. I kind of, that kind of failed. Uh, <laughs> boof was Here's a, your next clip. Uh, in America, boof. you say boof. You say boof. boof. We say boof. <laughs> boof was a term for sex, right? Boof. Oh, yeah, boof him. Yeah, yeah you yeah, want to boof yeah. him? Yeah, really? Yeah. Is it butt sex? Um, no, no, just, just sex. Oh, yeah. boof. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just Get him up here. Want to boof him? Oh, that's oh, from the 12th man. Him. That's where yeah. it's from. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, true. You, have you ever heard of the 12th man? Uh-uh. No. Oh, that this was great. is something. I tried yeah. to look it up recently. I'm yeah. not sure where it is. It might be on Spotify or something. Right. Um, I was uh, d- did a, a football club gig where I just had to draw out names from a hat. Like I was basically a raffle guy on the weekend. Yeah. And they just had all those names like Dymo or fucking whatever and, and Blocker and Plugger and stuff. And I was like, is there a boof here? There's always a boof. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it just fell so flat. They're like, dude, what are you talking about? No like, boof. When, yeah, no boof. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> not, like, I'm not with you on the boof one. Usually there's a boof. Nah. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, I don't know, maybe. I don't know where you've been hanging Comment out. Comment below <laughs> if there's a boof in your town. Yeah. <laughs> Also um, comment if there's a poof in your town yeah. as well. We want to know. Yeah. We want to know. Well, bloody hell, Sydney will be bloody going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we got one. Yeah. You ever buff a puff? Yeah, buff a puff. That'd be, that'd be pretty sick. Um, Do you know I went to my, um, just uh, talking about puff, uh, I went, so I'm in, I live in America. My sister's got kids there, American kids. They did the play Aladdin. My 10-year-old nephew was in this Aladdin play. And the kid who was playing Aladdin got the line wrong and I lost it because I'm sure he was meant to say, uh, poof, genie, you're free, like yeah. that. And he went, you're free, genie, you poof. And <laughs> I was in the back of the thing. I, I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. And everyone else was like, what's wrong what? with you? And I'm like, oh, you don't get how funny yeah, that is. <laughs> <laughs> I just called him a poof. I would have lost my shit. Long uh, chin. What does that mean? Uh, You've just I, written long chin. Long chin. I was just trying to think of concepts like, yeah, I've, I've got a long chin. Right, I hate, I hate my long chin. Well, because yeah. you do have a classic stand-up bit. My wife's got a giant head. She's got a giant head. So you're yeah, trying. Yeah. Is that long? You have a long chin. Yeah, this. yeah. I just. Um, you think you have a long chin? No, no. It was. It. it was more that I saw. I, I, I was trying to go. I hate people with long chins. I saw this girl with a long chin the other day. It was sticking down on the ground like Reese Witherspoon. Well, it was bloody annoying me. Is that yeah, a long chin? That's like a lantern yeah, yeah, jaw. Yeah, yeah. But I just thought I would make it super long. Like it was dragging Impressive. on the ground. It was tripping over. It was really annoying. Just right. a, a long chin. <laughs> Can anyone relate to this? So from floor to chin, the chin reaches the floor. In this yeah, the scenario. chin reaches the floor. Right. Yeah. Like <laughs> I forget. I did it. I did. I actually it went okay. I've got a recording of it somewhere, but I don't know what I did. Yeah. 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 It's stupid. Yeah. Long chin. Okay. <laughs> Open okay. AI. AI might develop and have its own goals. It won't hate us. This looks like you're trying to just write to yourself. It won't hate us. We're going to be okay. You're going to get through this. Finally, no, live. no. It'll be my friend. Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Someone like AI development have its own goals. <laughs> AI is it's getting crazy. Yeah. yeah. My buddy's a real tech geek, and he just showed me the other night. You know what he did? He said, just speak into the um, phone uh, for 10 seconds, read this sentence, and I did. And then he typed in there. And it spoke back in my exact voice. Right. Whoa. And the infliction and everything. And he said, that's how easy I can steal your voice. I think Whoa. he just recorded you and then played it back. He did. Yeah, and yeah. I'd, I'd been drinking and had forgot what I said. And yeah. I was like, that's incredible. <laughs> what? Is this the N-word 20 times? Yeah. What the yeah. Hell? That's my set list. I'm sticking, what? sticking to my set list. <laughs> that's my bit. Uh, yeah, man. No, I, I listen to his podcast about, uh, what's his name, Altman. The guy who's the head of Chat GPT. Mm. Oh, it's yeah. a great podcast. You, you would love it, man. It's uh, it's just all about his life story, how he came up, and how Chat GPT is started. And uh, this guy put he put up a good. Um, he said that yeah, AI won't kill us, but it it'll be like the way we are with animals. Yeah, like we don't hate animals, but if we've got to join two cities, we'll bulldoze their home without asking them. 
So that's kind of what could happen to us. So AI is going to put us in zoos and yeah, stuff. Uh, yeah, AI will be like, well, we're not going to ask. We're just going to fucking do this. Yeah. This is development. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. So that was like a really cool, I don't know. I just thought it was a cool concept. Yeah. Yeah. It's terrifying because we just, it's too much unknown. That's why. Yeah, yeah. And we're all just trying to come up with scenarios in our head and thinking about um, Skynet. Yeah, Do you yeah. Know the the largest uh, um, AI produ- is called Skynet. Is it? Oh, really? Did you know that? Well, no. just don't call it that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't call it that. <laughs> what are you doing that for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're working at a Judgment Day headquarters. Yeah, and you're like, oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really crazy. Like a billion. Like they're all Elon Musk, this Altman guy. They're all sitting around. They're like, Google's gonna, Google's going to do AI, but they're going to do it for you know, profitable reasons, we should have an open AI. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can, that's where it comes from. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, yeah, cool. Well, I'll put a billion dollars into this. And then it was like started making money and it progressed really fast. And they're like, oh, look, maybe we should start trying to make money off this. Yeah. (laughs) And then they kicked Elon Musk out. (laughs) (laughs) And it's crazy. So now basically it's a guy, this Altman guy, he's started his own currency where you got to scan your eye. Where it's basically him controlling the world. Uh, people control the world. We're yeah, getting yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's happening. It's, it's pretty happening. awesome. And we're all just here, just worrying about shit. And yeah, we're all yeah, Taking yeah. over. <laughs> all right, um, so you? that was funny. That was real funny. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's like fascinating. <laughs> My mates all gave me shit about. I was telling them the other day. They gave me shit. They're like, "Dude, you're fine." Uh, AI won't be able to work your brain out. You're okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like, pretty yeah. funny. Yeah. Overload. It's too complex. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't understand yeah. it. <laughs> it's dumb in the dumbest ways, smart in the dumbest ways. Yeah. They need a dyslexic AI. Yeah. IA. Yeah, IA. <laughs> John Carey art book. What's that? Oh, I, I also read this other book, uh, David Byrne from Talking Heads, and uh, he discusses art uh, that, that it's really cool that, like it's because I always think like because we we tell jokes right, but what's the fucking purpose of it? Like because we're trying to force it's gone from like you might have oh a jester in the community, the jester tells the jokes right right keeps the crime rate down. We know where everyone is, everyone's happy. There's no frustrations in the community. To now till it's like please buy tickets to my show, <laughs> like please like uh, this is my job. I need it. To, it, it we're not functioning in the community anymore. Right. You know what I mean? Like what art are we putting into the world? That I is, think. Yeah. I I think the exact opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think right now comedians are the only, is where everyone is turning to yeah. to get actual uh, unbiased, unfiltered, unfiltered uh, yeah. viewpoints on so much crap that everyone has to listen to and deal with and see in their feed and stuff. Yeah. So they turn to uh, Chappelle like a messiah yeah. to see what his take is on it. Or what, is, what does he think? What should I think? Oh, yeah. I'll see what he thinks about it. Yeah. What does Joe Rogan think about that and everything Hang like on, that? Hang on, Burt Kreischer's going to take his shirt off. Yeah, hold yeah. on. Yeah. He's, he's got valid opinions. Yeah, he's got valid opinions. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. it is... Uh, yeah, it is a bit like that. Like, come and come and watch me, please. Like, yeah, we're it, we're desperate and need attention. Or just, but, just uh, mostly comedy festivals, or you know what I mean. Or well, they're very know, different because they're oversaturated. and Ninety yeah, percent of those shows are absolute crap. There, yeah, I said it. Yo, oh, whoa, dude. Eh? Whoa, hey. uh, Susan Provid yeah. is gonna come for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Shit. So that's all, that's it. I'm just playing with that concept, like the the art you know what does it do it did do something and it does do stuff now don't get me wrong like uh i've never seen someone get offended by a piece of art like painting yeah Yeah, everyone gets offended by things that comedians seem to want to say and yeah yeah you don't hear much offense from oh maybe a little bit from musicians if their lyrics oh my god that's explicit yeah but but not even i think they get a pass as well i think yeah. they do i think comedy I think gets we in get trouble ridiculed more than anyone because like you know obviously you're trying to be funny and then if you take a topic that people think is a sacred cow yeah then they're like oh then that's where the offense lies right like how that's where the true talent lies if you can make the joke out of that like louis can yeah, yeah. louis can make a joke out of anything and make it funny, and then that's still funny, and that's fair. It's yeah, fair yeah. game. Yeah, subject matters suck. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, if you if we if we stay away from them, it's just going to make them more taboo and more uh, hard pressed to think about in society. Yeah, but 
I always laughed at the uh, years ago. I tried to write a bit about it. There was that Sydney photographer, the controversial guy, and he took photos of like uh, you know nude girls yeah. uh, that were like fifteen or something. But it was you know they were models. It was art. Yeah. It was in an art exhibition. It was totally. But you know obviously there'd been complaints or whatever, and they sent twenty military police down there to take the paintings off the wall really? like it's just so funny like uh, who's gonna fight you in an arm <laughs> yeah they could have got their fattest and oldest cop to just walk down there like all right guys i'm yeah. just gonna have to take these off the wall you know what i mean God. what's he gonna get stabbed with champagne yeah they didn't need to like, have military yeah. style <laughs> just weaponry with them, them. <laughs> just in case <laughs> these <laughs> artists get out of hand yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one's got a paintbrush <laughs> oh no my art is the worst they're gonna do that was my artist impression yeah. by the way and that's that gina reinhardt painting thing as well you're just drawing way more attention to it yeah, right? yeah, yeah, like yeah people would not have even fucking batten an eye but then all of a sudden they're like oh there's all these 16 year old nudes yeah and they're like oh shit now it's in the national conversation well that's it that's yeah. how he's got to get his art seen no one saw his photos yeah <laughs> yeah yeah now they're priceless because <laughs> they're locked up uh all right quickly so do you want to should we look at instagram explore or do you want uh notes camera roll honestly whatever well, dealer's choice. Whatever you dealer's want. choice. No, let's go to the Instagram. That'll be funny. Whoa. What do I go to? The search bit? Yeah, just the magnifying glass there. Okay, yeah, it's exactly what you think. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Um, Monty, are you, are you uh, involved with the other Emu War movie? No. Okay. No, I'm not. Is Rob Schneider? Absolutely not. Okay, cool. No. Uh, I think that one might be just John Cleese, maybe. I thought it was John Cleese and Rob Schneider. Yeah. They're in my one. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. My one is me, Rob Schneider, John Cleese, uh, Jim Jeffries, Reese Darby. We're, we, uh, so there's a third one? No. Okay. There's one There's one that a group of comedians here in Melbourne made that is yeah. – it's it's a, it's a it's very low budget. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And all – like, great. It's so, not, I don't yeah. own the concept of yeah, this. Yeah. It's like saying, oh, you made a movie about World War Two. You took yeah. my idea or something. It's yeah. You can't own that idea. Yeah. And they, they made a very low-budget, uh, fun sci-fi version of this story. Yeah. Has nothing to do with ours. Mm. Ours oh, yeah, is yeah. ours is a fifteen million dollar budget thing that is going to. Uh, it's a much bigger thing, which is why it's taking so bloody long. Yeah. Oh <laughs> man, that's crazy. So, but is... I wrote it with Rob Schneider and John Cleese. Ah, right. Yeah. Oh, far so out, I'm man. in it. John Cleese is playing my father. Rob Schneider is playing the head of the Australian Army. Yeah. Um, Jim Jeffries is the mayor of this small town. Reese Darby's one of the soldiers that comes out with me to fight the birds and blah yep. blah. blah. We've got some other big names too, but I can't. Oh, I can tell you guys off the thing. Um, but we're shooting in. Uh, Dave O'Neill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, you can tell us. We know Dave O'Neill. It's Dave O'Neill. Yeah, hell O'Neill. yeah. Yahoo Series? Yeah. Yeah. Yahoo series. Uh, yeah, we're bringing him back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everyone loves him. Yeah. Reckless Kelly's back. Yeah, Reckless Kelly's back. Yeah. <laughs> they were good movies. Yeah, yeah dude. They were great. Young Einstein was like the first Australian bit of culture I saw. Dude, dude. it was. Yeah, I'd, yeah I'd they never went out, even... out of control. They had things at, um, at like uh, Universal. Studios and stuff yeah. of, of Yahoo Serious. Yeah, like, that, that was a big deal. Dude. Well, yeah. does he still go by Yahoo? You think? No, he's changed his name and he's uh, he's in politics or something. Like, oh there's, shit! Yeah, there's a whole thing. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. So in the Instagram Explore page, this kind of goes along with Capper's long chin. It's just a lady with like a huge tongue. Yeah, I don't know. A huge mm. tongue. That's that. Does that mean that I've Look that up at some I, stage, I or the algorithms like Monty will love. Where does that a, come a from? A lady with a giant. Tongue. You know how your phones listen to you. Yeah, I was watching uh, White Chicks uh, the other yeah. night. Yeah, and um, Terry Crews pokes his tongue out and goes, "Look how big my tongue is." Yeah. So my yeah. phones listen to that. One hundred percent. Said Monty likes girls and big tongues. Yeah, and we'll, sh- we'll just throw this to him. <laughs> Man, it'd be funny if you were just sending photos like of that to your mates. Like, look at the tongue on this. Look at the one. tongue on this, and they're all her. sick of it, and they're having a conversation away from me. Like, are you getting these tongue photos from Monty? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's going through something. Let's yeah. just let him. She could lick the balls and the shaft all at once. Yeah. yeah. She... You ever get a reach around from a tongue? <laughs> she could lick lick Kappa's entire chin. <laughs> uh, this looks like a like a gossip page. It says fans react to Megan Maroney shooting her shot with Glenn Powell. So that's like the algorithm's like Monty fucking loves a bit of Glenn, Glenn Powell. Powell. I've been looking up Maverick then, right? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, he was in Maverick, wasn't Glenn he? Powell's a, he's he's the new stud, right? He's the new stud. He's, the new he's stud. really. It came, it came on so quick. Like yeah, you were yeah, thinking, yeah. oh, who's the stud? Is it Zac Efron and this and that? And then suddenly this bloke comes out of Maverick with a 
pretty decent part. He played the Iceman sort of role, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did. Well. Yeah. And he did great. Um, yeah. But and then he just uh, did that movie with um, Sweeney, Sweeney, whatever, oh, yeah, Sydney, Sydney Sweeney. Sweeney. Yeah, yeah. And then now he's in everything, and he's yeah, the it guy, and all the girls are going crazy. Yeah, he's pretty jacked. Who are you for, to get shredded for your wedding, Mike? Are you yeah. looking at the Glenn Powell build. What build are you looking for? Uh, oh, for inspiration? there's no particular the Hugh Jackman. Uh, the Hugh, oh, 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 yeah, Wolverine. Yeah, oh, yeah pretty good. I've got to get some cord with you, guys. Then you both of you went. Oh, <laughs> oh, <that's, laughs> I love the huge because I. We both came oh, at the yeah, same time. He did. Oh. Dude, he's so he's so old and so jacked. It's, oh, he's so, beautiful. it's crazy. Oh, he's dude. the best. I mean, if I can get some HGH. He's our, don't you reckon he's our king? Like if you look, Australia, that's Australia's king, and then Margot Robbie's the queen. Yeah, that holds up. Well, when when Olivia Newton John passed away, then uh, then Margot gets the she took the mantle. Yeah, she takes the mantle. Well, yeah, I think Pauline Hanson's the queen, but sure. Uh, oh well, yeah. <laughs> sorry. I wonder when the sorry, I wonder right. when the big H is openly going to come out. The big H. Yeah, oh, well, he's yeah, just yeah. broken up with his missus. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I wonder weird. what the turnaround time will be. What, five years, ten years? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe he never R- will. So writes an autobiography the... and then puts it in there. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. That, he does that, the Tom Cruise and he never just cash. never lets you know. No? Yeah. But always keeps Tom you Cruise is beholden to the Scientology. They're, uh, you know, keeping him under wraps. Yeah, they've got dirt on him, don't they? Oh, yeah. Do you know that? You remember the movie Bowfinger? Yeah. That's what that's all based on. All right. So you know in that movie he yeah. has the dirt on him because he was flashing the Lakers cheerleaders. Yeah. yeah. It's meant to be uh, Tom Cruise and that that industry has something on him. <laughs> so he has to keep – that's what the – Oh, the great. Oh, is. Uh, really? Yeah. So outside of all the – Chubby Rain. That makes me laugh. Chubby Rain. Yeah. Makes me laugh Such a good so movie. How good is Eddie Murphy in that movie? Oh, so dude. funny. Chubby Rain. So I could watch that again. It's, yeah, it's mainly it's just all hot chicks and then there is a Margot Robbie – 2009 and then a 2023 version like one of those side by sides but then uh great but then also they just throw in some corgi stuff at you there's a lot there'll be a lot of corgi stuff i like a corgi yeah yeah uh, corgi memes you're sharing some corgi memes yeah yeah, yeah. my Dude. girlfriend and i like to share uh corgi things with each other it's oh, fun. yeah oh wow that's cool man that's like because i send my wife capybara <laughs> capybara things you know the little animal little yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah there's good people dress them up or have them all walking in a line and she, yeah yeah <laughs> I they're, send that's her a daily funny. capybara yeah, <laughs> yeah, have you yeah. Seen, they got that there's the one with a pelican trying to eat one you seen that one no, no. <laughs> it's just pelican i don't want to see this <laughs> no i can't eat it it's just not ca- ca- <laughs> <laughs> many people know a pelican <laughs> can't eat it and it's just going <laughs> nothing sucking happening. on it like a lolly yeah <laughs> like a gobstopper <laughs> big furry gobstopper yeah um yeah uh well monty uh you know you now you don't have to do any hacks mate you don't have to do uh we're at the pointy end of the episode oh yeah, yeah. Um, you don't have to do anything. Okay. Uh, but I thought it was fun. I thought because I I did hear whispers that you were involved in an emu war, and uh, our mates ma- made the uh, the low budget one. Right, right. And I was thinking if you could, um, I don't know if you've done this already in a funny way or something, but um, comment on one of the emu war posts like "fuck you guys, we're coming at you bigger and better." I got John Cleese, <laughs> Rob Schneider, everybody in the mix. I will get in a lot of trouble if I do that. <laughs> yeah. If, uh, if I was doing a, a low budget thing, but we've got yeah, way yeah. too many producers uh, and stuff that have actually rung me and said, uh, just don't, don't, um, don't fuck with it. No, and I, I say I, I know some of these guys. Like, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. There's, there's no, there's no bad beef or anything. It's, it, yeah. it is what it is. But they've said, just, uh, you know. We gotta uh, stay away from it. Well, oh, I noticed it. in your uh, algorithm there also you had uh, like I think it was a pole vaulter from the Olympics, and it was just like how how hot is this lady? Like check out her ass, right? That was the oh I had one of them in mind. Yeah, that was in there. Oh, yeah, that sounds about right. And then there's this meme that got shared around. Uh, it says tits men during the Olympics, and it's that one guy looking sad, and then ass men during the Olympics, and the other dude looking like real happy. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so <laughs> i mean dude that rule so hard. you can put that in stories and just be like hell yeah or not you know you do have a big following we don't want to compromise that in any way oh are you are you you're looking to ruin my life in some way <laughs> yeah. I, I, now i understand what's yeah, happening yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. we could do man we could do this not as a post you could do the oblong anus one as a story 
<laughs> oh, we say oblong anus. <laughs> we say oblong anus all the time. <laughs> okay. I'll do it with you guys, right? Yeah, yeah, but you have to be in the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get so much hate for it. Yeah. It's, so, it's so much hate. All right. Yeah. Well, I have one that won't get you hate, but they'll just be like, oh, Monty's kind of a fucking oh, dork. It's, dork. Um, it's the Deadpool movies out right now. And it's uh, it's Deadpool looking sad, and it says, since Deadpool can break the fourth wall and knows our world exists, that means he's the only Marvel character that knows Stan Lee died. And then it's just it's sad Deadpool, <laughs> <laughs> and you just put that up. I can put that up. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then people are just like, oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then you can just you can like do the next one and go. Oh, sorry guys, this was part of the phone hack no, podcast. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, happy yeah. just to throw oh, it there man, and throw so everyone funny. off. And then let us know. Okay. Uh, let oh, us know what right. comes on after that. that. Bunch of people go. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So sad Deadpool. Um, um, and I just thought I'd follow up from last week. Last week uh, we had Andrew Hamilton on, and then I um, I did a post like I did a uh, it was slow cooking Australia had uh, put up stuff, and it's about slow cooking, and I'll just put the comment. What, this is a Facebook page? Yeah, yeah. Uh, So you commented on a slow cooking Australia Facebook post. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. What is slow cooking? So it's just people with slow cookers making fucking Yeah, yeah, just like, yeah, just cooking. um, Anyway, sorry. Well, no, this is compelling viewing. Uh, and then I also can I do one for you guys? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So on your Instagram stories, you've both got to put a picture of Michael Richards, <laughs> and, and just comment. Just read his book. Some off-color language in there that I didn't expect. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, just read his book. Or yeah. off-color language that I did expect. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, what about like just like I put that up and I go, read this, not as bad as I thought it was going to be, highly recommended or something yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> just just read this three quarters of the way through the book. It just stopped and <laughs> there was nothing else. Yeah, most, um, most books have a word count. This has an N word count. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. That's good. I'll. Uh... Can you find this thing or no? Oh, um, no. I, I I just skipped out of it because it was taking too long. Okay. All right. But um... <laughs> you're the slow cooker in this scenario. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the slow cooker. <laughs> I did do another one where it was the. Uh, I'm from the town of Gundawindi, and they're opening a KFC. Right. And uh, a lot of people said, "I can't wait for the KFC to be open. The KFC is coming." And I was like, I can't wait to go in there and eat all that skin. <laughs> you commented that on the thing? Yeah. <laughs> Any responses? Um, no, no responses. It was just from my mates uh, ripping the piss out of me going, oh, is this the bloke who did a video about Gunda Windy? Like, fuck you. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, this guy, oh, this guy sucks. But then I just kept doing it for the next couple of posts. They're so like, does anyone know when the KFC is opening? And I'm like... Yes, um, when it does open, can everyone just save their skin for me? <laughs> Can't wait to eat the skin. <laughs> You're slowly alienating every regional town in Australia, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is your bread and butter. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Where's Gunda Windy, by the way? Uh, on the New South Wales-Queensland border. Yeah. Um, oh, where? Yeah. That's Tweed Heads. Um, oh, way inland. inland. Way inland. I've been like, there. Way, like 600 k's remember. west of the, uh, mm. of the coast, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. But uh, uh, there's heaps of stuff on the Patreon as well. In the Patreon, uh, Andrew Hamilton, Ferdy, and I actually hack some other groups, yeah. uh, which is, man, it's beautiful territory. Oh, for really? Us to do. Yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love it. And uh, there's quite a good story in there about how things end up. So, yeah, yeah. Just get yeah, on the get Patreon the, for that. Get in the Patreon I don't even for know that. About that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, Monty, so you got the big Australian tour, which yeah. kicks off in October? Uh, November. November. November the fir- November 5th in Canberra, and then I'm doing Canberra, Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, yeah. Hobart, Adelaide, Perth. And they're all, yeah, I mean, Melbourne, I'm doing Hamer Hall. It's 2,000 seats. It's the biggest show I've ever done, like headlined myself. Yeah, great. Um, Man, that's killer. Yeah, it'll be great. It's going to be awesome. So. so good. That is such a good venue. I, yeah. I've done it a few times opening for other people. And yeah, I opened fucking... for John Cleese there. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was, uh, it's such an interesting one because I used to do school speech nights there and stuff. Right? Oh, really? And now it's just fun to go back and, and uh, 
tell dick jokes. Yeah, dude. Get your dick out take there. that, dude. Yeah, yeah. Teachers, that I wouldn't amount to anything. Yeah. With my, Bring back with some... my potty humor in the back of the class. <laughs> Mike had to write some John Cleese roast stuff. What did, stuff did you write to roast John Cleese? Oh, this was like over a year ago now. Yeah. I'd have to find it. Oh, but yeah, um, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I mean, I sent him like four pages of roast jokes. Oh, really? But it was, um, the panel was just bizarre because it was like John Cleese, Lawrence Mooney. Um, Kenny. Damien Power Kenny wasn't up there I don't think Ch- Sean Jacobs wasn't there oh Kenny uh, I think he yeah. said Kenny like oh, Troy so. Kenny no uh, yeah Shane Jacobson so the fat jokes for him were easy yeah but, yeah but um, a lot of them I don't know who the fuck Rhonda Birchmore is you know yeah. oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like I don't know this lady right. um, <laughs> should have said that yeah what the was fuck Rhonda Birchmore is? <laughs> what was Mooney's one of Shane Jacobson Shane Jacobs something about a tapeworm that was awesome oh uh, Shit, it was fucking incredible. Yeah, Someone was it good? It. I didn't watch yeah, yeah. the roast. It was, I mean, it was weird. It was, yeah, the a bit disjointed, a bit disjointed. You could tell. Cleese and what was it on Channel it? Ten or something? Seven, then, I think. Uh, yeah. Well, then you can't. Yeah, I mean, yeah. shit. The the Tom Brady roast was unreal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah God, yeah. they did a good job. Yeah, that's the best roast I've seen in ten years. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, right. so oh. it kicks off in November. So make sure you get across. Uh, see Monty live see and. Live. And yeah, do you anything else to plug or? Uh, no, the the movie is going to come out eventually, but we're shooting it next year. Yeah. So uh, this is the, Manny the, the movie. The the Manny. Yeah. The great the great Emmy War. I'm so sad <laughs> you couldn't write him a message. It's so it would have been so funny. Well, Just have Jay. Have him send a use. text to Rob Schneider, like yeah, the, uh, yeah. the Deadpool. I'll get them to send you guys a message. That's yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Send yeah. them. Yeah, send yeah. them a message. I'll send them a message off the internet. Yeah. yeah. But I just don't want. No, no, no. I don't that's funny need publicists hell, and people rigging me up and going. No, no, it's too annoying. Can't yeah. wait to see it. It sounds awesome, dude. It Would you really send cool. Rob Schneider a message? Yeah, well, do you want to call him right now? Well, I mean, I think a text. There's just this fucking gross, like, old lady's butt. (laughs) You go, fwah, check that out. (laughs) I'll tell him I found this old photo of you. (laughs) He'll love that. Dude, yeah, (laughs) yes, please. That'd be so sick. (laughs) I found this old photo of you. Is this you? (laughs) Is this you? (laughs) He'll write back and go, no, that person's wearing pants. (laughs) Ah, dude. All right, man. Well, thank you so thank much you for so doing much. the pod. Oh, thanks for having Get along me. to Monty's show. Get on the Patreon. Uh, I got solo shows on the Gold Coast in October. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Yes, yeah, so I also have a solo show on the Gold Coast, 7th of September. And then on the 15th of September, I also have one with Ben Knight. We're filming it at Bodrigi. So, please get down to that, please. Nice. All, All right. right. See us. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.